copy of this. Could you? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. You want me to read it? Let's okay. read. Other. There's only like four copies. Are you guys ready? Okay. Back there? We have an experienced cameraman tonight. <laughs> High paying. Okay. Do a dream, a barber's dream. All right. What is a dream? Uh, sir, uh, what is a dream? Care. Form of care. Oh, what do you think of what he said? Uh, I think it's a good introductory thesis statement. And uh, how, like how would you add to details. it? Yeah. How would I add to it? Well, you did notice it was an introductory statement. Yeah. But. Care of what? I mean, care has to be care of something. Mm. So. Mm. What is a dream? A gift from the gods. Mm. The dream master. Elevated. A um, piece of advice. <laughs> How about that? A piece of advice. <laughs> oh, an analogy. Mm. Mm. Well, let's see. All right. Okay. So... Um, this is the second dream that says 95 and then it says September 7th. I went to Claremont to say, uh-oh, do you, what's the last line you have on that? And I think that's the way the dream ends. Okay, that's good then. Okay, I went to Claremont to say hello or goodbye to Charles, just to see him, I think. And when I got there, they're emptying his office and the table was filled with a bunch of stuff and someone is talking to him. And I didn't want to interrupt, so I was organizing the stuff, kind of, so that it could be disposed of, because he was obviously cleaning out his office. Most of it was trash, but different kinds of things that would need to go in different ways. So as I'm doing that, at some point, I gestured towards it, and he says to me, you look really wonderful, in kind of an awe-inspired voice. And so I think I say, thank you, and go on. And he's still talking to this person and another one of his students is there. He says he's going to be back. He's talking about not leaving forever, but he's going to return in the summer and teach a class. And this other person says to me, oh, you know, he's just getting so narrow, like in what he will accept, as if his field of study was narrowing. And the guy kept saying, kept narrow, narrowing. And he pointed to something which was like a sheet showing students who were working with him, indicating he wasn't working with anyone or one person. And Josh is somewhere in the dream, and it appears he's there and studying, and in the dream I'm thinking, yes, he probably can go through things very quickly because he's very bright. So then I think we leave the room and come back. All the stuff is gone from the table, but it still has bits of trash, bits of dust and stuff. So I start pulling it towards one edge to get it off the table. And I still haven't had any time to talk at length with him, but I think I engage him over the fact that he will be back. And I ask him something about, and he offers he's going to be working with Emily Dickinson. That she, I don't remember why in the dream, but in the dream it's like he's going to be doing some work with her, and she has always liked him and finds him to be a good person to work with. And I think that's the way the dream ends. Hmm. Oh. What do you think of it? It is, well, it, um, as far as the goal of talking with him, it, I only vaguely touch base with him. Like all the other conversations in the, <laughs> in the dream are really clear. But that one is... Um, I engage, I haven't had any time to talk with him at length, 
but I think I engage him over the fact he won't be back, and I ask him something about, and then it's not clear. Hmm. So that I see as a problem. Uh, why, Plus, is it, why is it a problem? Well, I had a goal to talk to him. That was why I was going up. Okay. But then on the other hand, I'm not sure after hearing the description of him as narrowing whether I should be engaging with him at all. It's like that has no impact on me. Neither that comment nor the list with a per only one person's name on it. He, you know, he is an actual teacher and he's very, usually very popular with people. But for my taste, he always has been narrow because he's an Aristotelian. Um, how is he in the dream? In the dream, it doesn't say. It just says, I'm going up to see him and um, I want to talk to him just to touch base with him, it seems. I think that's what I say. I want to just to see him, I think. But I'm surprised that... Um, Mm. I guess I'm adding something to the dream from the r nothing in what I've said except the part about in not not engaging him uh, on the basis that he's narrow. I went up to see him. I didn't necessarily go up to do anything further. So, yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you saw a problem there. What would you say is the problem? Well, it looks like I'm willing to organize his trash and clean his desk and all kinds of things while waiting for him to have a free moment. And yet he, I, it seems like that's one curiosity and the other is that he says I look wonderful but that doesn't stop his conversation with the other person mm -hmm. and I don't say, well by the way, you know, I do want to talk to you. So, but I just seem to wait as if it's going to fall on my lap which is a pretty common state of mind for me, that it's kind of okay that I wait and wait and wait. It's like, hmm. what do I want to say? Yeah, it's like, it's okay that I wait. Let everyone else go in front because I can wait. There's something really bad there, problematic. Um, what leads you to, s to think that there's a problem there because you can wait? In terms of the dream. Well, it seems like I th it, in, there's just a feeling that I want to talk with him, but it see, but see, I still haven't had any time to talk at length with him. It's like there is at, by the end of the dream, I I've, I've talked with him a little bit. It appears because there's the talk about Emily Dickinson. But um, there may not be any time in the dream. The dream ends before there's enough time to have a talk. That mm -hmm. seems to me like a problem. Or do you? Or is it not a problem because the dream ends before he? I mean, he 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 doesn't leave in the dream. But he's still mm -hmm. like it would be <coughs> more powerful, more of a problem if he left, right? If it said and Charles left, then it'd be a real problem, because then I wouldn't have had a chance to talk to him at all. But I think the thing is that I don't think it's important that I want to have a talk with length, at length with him. That I don't think it's important enough to even say that to him in the dream, because I can wait. But a talk at length, you need time to do that in a certain state of mind, and in the dream, I'm not making a space for it. I don't know how to say that. I'm not putting it in words.
Yeah, I'm not making space for that. Yeah. Well, with him. I'm not saying to him, yeah. by the way, I want to, you know, and then I would find out either, yes, there is time and space in his reality or there isn't. Oh. 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 So, um, you have an interesting goal. Uh, how are you functioning? Like a house cleaner. Oh, like a house cleaner. Yeah. <coughs> and you identify with that role. And I identify with that role. In the sense that, that you really get into it. Looks like again, it. it's kind of like there's a whole path. It seems again a pathologus like if I'm there and I'm not otherwise engaged, I might as well be useful. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I might as well it's be It's good for a lot of people. It's not so good for me. <laughs> and when it's a very you, strange point of view. And when you um, might as well be useful, what happens to your goal? It, it's, ju it's, it's just hanging out there. It's, it's, in the, it's like on the furthest back burner of the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a presence, but it's not doing anything. I'm not acting on it. No. no. Looks like you, uh, what happened to your goal? It didn't get accomplished. Right, right, right. Be because uh, you're this. playing this role. Yes. Those right. two, the two parts to it. The mm. waiting, which leads to the household so keeping. What kind of state of mind is that? I might, as be, I might as well be useful. It's kind of like I become an animated dust rag. Yeah, well, what's that like? Come on. <laughs> feeling wise, come on. What's that like? Yeah, what state of mind is that? Well, I feel kind of pushed around. You know, kind of um, like... There is kind of a deep feeling of being sulky and whiny and like, well, I'm not getting my way, so. That's there too. Yeah, that. I feel pushed around. I feel like I don't, ma like I don't matter at all. Like you can just ignore me. I, might, I could be the wallpaper. Yeah, what am I going to ask you? About the history of it? Yeah. Where does it come from? Well, when I was talking about it... Two states of mind came up. The other mm -hmm. one is kind of the whiny one. That one's like eight years old. This mm -hmm. one of being pushed around is like... Mm -hmm. Wow, it's very strong. Uh, it seems like it has to do with when I was around 15. Could have, the, and it has to do with the fact that my father was always moving us. We moved every two years. And there was something, there's just, I was faced, I was in a house, a new house. I didn't like it, and it didn't matter to anybody. I didn't like the fact that once again, we were in a new house. Once again, we're going to a new school. And um, surprising, I never thought I had these feelings, because it happened every two years. Um, and people were all buzzing around me, like, the household is, people are run, walk. Nobody else is taking any, nobody's paying any attention to me. And I'm just, I'm just standing there. I'm not saying anything, though. But I'm, I'm uh, sulking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that Huh, interesting. Well, I, I, it's just a feeling, a feeling that someone could have said to me, might have said to me, well, since you're not doing anything, 
you might as well, you know, dust or might as well yeah. sweep the floor yeah. or yeah. A, a series yeah. of chores. And I think the other people in the house were engaged in <coughs> housework. I mean, uh, like getting their rooms ready and doing things they enjoy, enjoyed about the move maybe, organizing mm -hmm. their rooms. But uh, it was like I wasn't, I wasn't doing that. And, um, it's, and I think that someone just walked by at a certain point and said, oh, you're not doing anything. You might as well, you know, clean the kitchen floor and um, sweep the bathroom or whatever and give a list of pretty meaningless chores. And I, I went ahead and did them. Yeah. Looks like you, all, you, are, you have already accepted the role at 15. Uh, what card of this eight-year-old? What was that like? What scene comes up for you? Well, it's, seen, it's a scene where my older sister is, um, where I'm sitting with, you know, with, hmm. Well, what comes up is a, a scene where I'm sitting with my hands in my lap, you know, just doing nothing and um, waiting. Go ahead. And my mother, well, I can, before we go there, I remember going back to my aunt. This was when we, I was in high school, but my aunt, my mother, my aunt said, my mother said to my aunt, you can have my children do anything you want. They can, we were like three of us were in high school. And you know, it's like they can do, help you and do chores. Ask them. And my aunt said, my, my great aunt, she said, no, they're on vacation. I'm not going to ask them to do anything. So, but that has the same quality. Like, they're all just these zombies. You can ask, you can tell them to do whatever you want and they'll do it. Yeah. And um, so, eight years old. I was really pissed off about something, and, and, and therefore I was weepy. And, uh, but I'm trying to remember over what issue. Um, uh, Pierre, I don't yeah. know. Uh, so I asked, asked to do something and didn't, didn't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. But didn't really have the choice. M my mother had the older girls, there were three of us, we were always called the older girls because then my brother <laughs> was the next in order. So there's like the older girls who did chores, my brother who did nothing, and my younger sister who did nothing, youngest sister. So there were the older girls who did the work and the younger kids who didn't. And um, it was always on the, well, you guys know how to do this stuff. They don't, they're too young to know how to do this it stuff. It doesn't look like everyone got that role. No, not, everyone did not get that role. You got it. Yeah, and the problem was that I really, if I was going to do something, I really wanted to do it completely. And so they used to laugh about that. You know, I can remember that happening. But I'm sorry, Pierre, I just can't no, no. think of anything when I'm... No. I remember this sulky state and I, that I didn't, I was resistant to what I was being asked. And like, you know, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, kind of thing. And um, my mother was very powerful and energized, which she almost never is. So it must have been an occasion of some sort because she was, you know, being mother. I can remember her like um, charging around filled with energy, which mm -hmm. she usually isn't when I'm eight years old. So she usually isn't in any case. And very directive. And she wanted, I think, I think she was directing things to happen. And I, she, I was just standing there, so she told me to do something since I was just standing there. That's the best mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. come to with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think that, again, okay, it goes back to that idea of I didn't like the situation and mm. nobody cared. Yeah, one more point in the dream. What was it like when uh, Charles said that to you? 
remember that great Yeah, show? it was kind of a shock. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> yeah, he was really taken. You know, he thought, wow. And yet, <laughs> so... What did it do to you in the dream? Well, you there was a shock when he did wonderful. that. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, what kind of a shock? Come on. Well, pleasant, huh? you know? Pleasant, like a recognition, like a change. Mm, a recognition of... It felt really good. Well, uh, I don't understand that, what it's like to feel just good. It well, felt really good. Uh, really I good like it felt... Like what? I felt really happy. Um, I was very pleased. It, like, caused a burst of light in my, from me when he did that. Like, uh, <clears throat> he has a certain authority and position of power. He does. So what is he doing when he's telling you that in the middle of everything that's going on? Uh, mm, well, the last time I saw him, he was shocked at the way I looked because when he knew me, I was dyeing my hair. So I saw him with white hair, and he was shocked. And um, I hadn't seen him for a couple of years. But this time, it's like the opposite. Mm -hmm. Now he's seeing me, and I look wonderful. And, and uh, he's recognizing that. Then and at that, I feel... At that moment, there's a great recognition and acceptance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it doesn't... Mm, Go ahead. Well, the, the thing is, he doesn't. It doesn't make a difference to him. He just goes back to what he was doing. I'm pretty sure he just goes back to the conversation. But he you was didn't in. say anything. I didn't say anything. Right. What do you well, think? I said, I think I say thank you. You thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then you don't. I don't engage him. Don't engage. I him. don't say. Okay, now that you see that good, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> something I want to say. Right. Nope. Right. Nope. Some, you know, what strikes me, what came to my mind right then is that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. Good, because? Um, is, there's taking advantage of him? Taking advantage of the beauty? Taking advantage of the moment? Taking advantage of him? Yeah, somehow I have to do it I have to do it soberly. I have to do it with a disadvantage. But somehow. you're in, but you're in a very high state. Yeah. So therefore, I don't know why well, I can't do it. Well, according to this, um, hmm? it wouldn't be fair. Yeah. To engage him in that state. That's right. That's the way I feel. I wouldn't yeah. be fair. Right. You can't show that. Can't show that. Yeah. Or you can't use that. Use that. You can't build or on that. Be there or build on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's another strange thing. Yeah. Here. Where does that come from? Well. Right? This is interesting. This is central, isn't it? Hmm. It's a very common dynamic of my life. In fact, yeah, that's in true. In fact? Well, I was thinking, in fact, I usually tend to run the opposite direction. Yeah. Or do something really obnoxious to turn the person off. Yeah. By the way, you've been in different states of mind that you might call interesting or... or uh-huh. Uh, where would you put this state? You called recognition wonderful, really happy, pleased, uh, kind of... Uh, oh, it was. it's very... If not the top, it's very near the top. Oh. Oh. And in that state... In that state, I have to hide. Hide. Mm. And maybe that's hence the house cleaning too. Yeah. Well, hide and sometimes, Pierre, I mean, I do really or obnoxious things. I, I use the term. You can. Well, escape. Escape. That's okay. Hide, okay. yeah. hide is okay. Hide is okay. Escape is better. Yeah. Right, right, right. So when you're in this state, right, to engage him. 
being in this state, uh-uh, escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finish the sentence because... Uh, I'm afraid what will happen if I stay. Mm. It's like um, lightning or something. And I think because I'm bad if something happens. I'm bad if something happens. If something comes out of it, it's your fault. Yes. Right. Mother, my mother would say that again and again and again. No, yeah, because it's obviously true that... Uh, I just never realized I integrated it. What, what? <laughs> I just never realized I integrated it. Oh. The fact that she said it was one... Or that I, that I knew that that was a point of view, but the fact that I had the point of view, that I didn't realize. Hmm. Yeah, be, well, you have to escape because if something develops out of that, it's your fault. It's my fault. And because it's out and, of control. And it's universally true that women who are beautiful and wonderful, it's their fault. They, you know, they deserve whatever they get. That's it, see? That's what? it. And, and that it seems very out of control. If I'm in a high state, the other person recognizes the high state, then it's completely out of control. But Anything but could happen. But Earthquakes. But thunder. He, lightning. He recognized it. He recognized it. So what themes are you going to have to work with now? What, so what what? Themes are we ah. going, right? Look here. Uh, certainly this one. Right? Mm -hmm. Certainly this one. Certainly this one. Certainly this one. Could you read them? Because you're, sure. you're writing. Although the first one, yeah. the house cleaner, you mean? Uh, it wouldn't be fair mm. to take advantage of that moment. True. That's a theme. Ah. Two, that wonderful state you're in. Mm -hmm. You have to escape from it. Mm. Because after any, anything that comes out of that or anything, problem, anything that comes out of it, it's out of your control. It's your fault. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. That's interesting. Uh, what way? Well, <clears throat> it's, I, like I said, I realized it's part of almost part of the culture yeah. that you know, in a situation of rape, it's yeah. the woman who's wearing the short skirt. Yeah. Yeah. It's the woman who's le um, going to someone's apartment at night, and therefore, my God, it's her fault yeah. if anything happens. Yeah. Yeah. I realized that what I so what I find interesting is I hadn't realized that I was functioning under that mm -hmm. belief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, something must be going on that brought this the necessity for this dream to be your gift when it came. Hmm. Right? Shall we assume? You got in a good state of mind. You were among people who have a certain status, and you had to hide the beauty or whatever state that was hmm. because of this fear that whatever hmm. emerges from that state, you're responsible for it, and it's going to be your fault. And it wouldn't be fair for you to show mm -hmm. your goodness or... Mm -hmm the beauty or whatever wonderful or the state thing of that mind. he's mm -hmm. saying. See, he didn't say beauty, he said wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is wonderful. Yeah, it is. It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He recognizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that St. Bernard. <laughs> So, uh, the, the reason you're having it. Oh, I think that I'm getting into some good states of mind that, mm. and having some good encounters with people yeah. of a simo similar... And therefore, this emerges, this ancient teaching, and your mind wants you to, hey, take a look at this before you go further. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank Fun? you. Yes. Fun.
Thank you.